Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am sitting down to film my last and final baby update and give you guys my 38 week bump date and go over everything that I have been feeling and everything that has happened since I last updated you guys. So I will link my 34 and 36 week update down below if you guys want to check out that video before coming on to this video. And I'm gonna try to make this video as short and sweet as possible, but I told you guys that I would be posting this, so here it is. I went in this morning for my 38 week appointment. I am 38 weeks and one day today, as of October 2nd. And everything went okay. I am sitting at around 166 pounds. So I have put on a little under 30 pounds this pregnancy, which is mind blowing. I've talked about this. I've been really good with my weight up until the last month. And I feel like since the baby is dropping and moving down, I have more of an appetite and I'm able to eat a little bit more. Everyone's pregnancy is different. They say between 25 and 35 pounds is fine. So I haven't really beat myself up about it. I feel like I'm mostly belly and I've done what I could to ensure that I didn't put on an excessive amount of weight just because I'm so little and the shape of my body and as long as my baby was healthy it didn't matter how much weight that I put on little or a lot if that makes sense so I went in today that was the weight my blood pressure as always was good I have been blessed with having such a great blood pressure this entire pregnancy and baby's heart rate was in the 150s so the last few appointments that I've had it's been in the 150s and that is completely fine completely normal so baby is still growing it is still healthy and is still baking away in my belly I did go ahead and get my cervix checked again today and unfortunately I'm still only sitting at one centimeter dilated but I did go up to being 70% effaced so again when you're effaced at a full 100%, your cervix is thinned out completely for labor and delivery. So I have a good feeling that between now and next week, being 39 weeks, that'll progress even more. And I'm also at a negative one with how the baby is stationed in the pelvic region. So she has definitely moved down. The baby has dropped. Um, she hasn't dropped completely, but she's working her way down and the doctor said that she has significantly dropped since she checked last. And that makes her really, really hopeful. Also, another thing we talked about today is pretty much my birth plan, what I wanted for labor and delivery. And in the state of Indiana, they allow for elective inductions, which some people are against and some people are for. They can't medically induce until 39 weeks or after. So I have officially made an induction date and I go in Thursday night at 9 p.m. on October 8th. So when you guys are seeing this video, I will have about five days until I am getting induced. She fully believes that I will have the baby on October 9th, so that next Friday. This to me is so awesome. <laughs> the baby will be full term. The baby will be fully cooked and baked and just, it, it makes me so excited to have a date. <laughs> so unless she comes between now and then, which I don't think she's going to, I mean, anything could happen at this point, but I don't think that she's gonna come any earlier than the induction date. And quite frankly, I don't want her to. <laughs> I need the next five or six days to <laughs> mentally prepare a little bit more and I still have some tasks that I have to do around the house. So I would prefer her to stay in there um, because it'll only be about five or six days away from my due date when I have her, if all goes as planned. So. My doctor fully believes that everything will be quick and easy and smooth since my pregnancy has been so easy and she has high hopes that this will be an, a very good, successful induction. So that is what I've chosen to do. Some states don't allow it. Some people don't want to do it. For me personally, I want this baby out. <laughs> and anybody that's pregnant fully understands that being pregnant is hard and towards the last couple of weeks, it has gotten rough. <laughs> And when I say rough, I mean rough. Um, I was supposed to work up until this next week. I'm still doing 
my aesthetics work on the side for extra cash. And then I also have um, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday morning this next week that I am cleaning at my job just so that I can get some extra cash and I'm not actually going to be bartending. So it's gonna be a lot easier than what my normal shifts would be. My last shift this week was on Wednesday bartending because my body just physically can't handle it anymore. It's uncomfortable, it's too much, and I'm over it. <laughs> um, I have been experiencing such bad heartburn. I thought with her moving down, I'd be able to catch my breath a little bit more. I actually feel like it's worse, but the pelvic pain and pressure is horrible. The Braxton Hicks are coming on strong, okay? I mean, they are lasting, you know, not as long as what a contraction would be to be admitted into the hospital, but they are making my stomach tight, kind of like balling up like a fist. And I don't even know what a real contraction feels like. So Braxton Hicks are similar, but it's not the real thing. So <laughs> I have just been in a lot of pain and I am trying to relax and lay down when I can, but I'm also trying to make money and get last minute things done. So I'm glad that I did what I needed to do. I'm able to get some extra footage up for you guys and be more than prepared with an induction date. So that is what I am doing. And other than, you know, feeling those things, a swelling has been okay. I've noticed it a couple of nights when I've been on my feet for nine or 10 hours or for most of the day, but I've been lucky. I haven't, you know, gotten um, a lot of swelling in the hands or the feet. I do notice more of leg cramps at night um, not restless legs like some people experience, but I do go to stretch and not only does my stomach kind of ache, but my legs ache as well. Like I'm going to get a Charlie horse. So just a couple of uncomfortable symptoms and things that I've been feeling. Um, I've definitely been going to the bathroom a little bit more and when I have to go, I have to go. I feel like it's gotten increasingly worse <laughs> as the weeks go on, but since I am so close to my due date, that's normal. And I'm just feeling all of the things. I am so, so ready for her to be here. I'm so tired of indigestion. Like I thought I had heartburn bad before, but this whole area through here is just, half the time I feel like I'm going to throw up in my mouth if you want me to be completely honest. <laughs> all right, so here is the bump. It definitely still looks pretty high, but To me, I have dropped significantly. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but. She's definitely started to drop a little bit. Um, I am starting to get some stretching through here. I am, again, oiling up with the belly oil from Earth Mama. And I've also recently picked up the bio oil, but this is what I've been using. Super exciting stuff. Um, let me know down below if you have any experiences or stories to share about being induced. Give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you go. And I will talk to you guys hopefully when I'm in labor.